Welcome to Quick Learning. Today we are going to learn MB23 transaction code that is used for reservations display. In our daily routine and especially in material management, we have to create different reservations to get that material reserved for our use either for present or in future. So we create reservations that are for particular material on some specific cost center or some storage location and then that material is reserved for that. After issuance that reservation is posted and that material is transferred to that relevant storage location in SAP and in physically as well. So we are going to learn how to use this MB23 transaction code and how can we get data of maximum reservations out of this. We will start by writing MB23 in our main transaction tab. We will press enter and it will show us a simple one liner display which is asking us to write the reservation number. So if we already know the reservation number we will just write the required reservation number here and it will show us the components inside that reservation with their quantities and all that. But here is the tricky question. What if we do not know the details of reservation or the number of reservations specifically? Then we will have to find the reservation number first. To do that we have to press this icon this this button that is in the form of two squares or a cubical form we will press this one and again a window will appear in front of you this window will enable you to get your desired reservation number as per your need we will first uh, discuss all of these entries and then we will uh, uh, do some examples for your understanding First of all, it's material. If we know the material code, we will just write the material code here and it will uh, give us all the reservations that are related to this particular material code. Going down, it's cost center. If we have, if we know some particular cost center for which we are going to find reservations, we will write this cost center. Going down, it's order, some maintenance order, the WBS element for some project or capex related expense network asset receiving plant receiving storage location sales order plant and requirement date so these all the things will help us in getting the required reservation that we want to see uh, in our window so we will start from the first one here is the material now there is one there is an other interesting thing for example, if we do not know the exact material code of some material, so what we have to do, we have to again press this care button and it will help us in finding the exact material code. So you can see it's a loop inside a loop. I will write double star and I will write, for example, closure. On writing the closure, you will see a list of items will appear in front of you and you have to select very carefully what item is your required go what item is your required one so for our better understanding or to make things a little bit easy you will see we will write select any one of these for example i have selected this one closure promo yellow 1881 so this material code has appeared here now I will uncheck this open reservation because I want to get all the list in front of myself so that I can choose any one of them as per my ease I will press enter and it will show me that these are the reservations related to this particular material code you can see these are all the reservations of the system. This is the reservation number column. This is the date. 
material as per my selection that is requirement quantity removed quantity difference username storage location plot movement type and all the details so by writing just one material code i am able to get a list of reservation in front of myself so now to narrow down my research what i will do i will write the plant as well for example i will i just write 3003 here now what it will do it will narrow down my research and it will be only particular to that specific receiving plant i will press enter again and now you will see that only these reservations are available in system that are of this material code and that are related to this receiving plant 3003 okay so you can see i have just entered an other argument that is the receiving plant and my research has narrowed down to the fewer reservation numbers i will go down back again and to make things more interesting what i will do i will write the receiving storage location as well so what i will do i will it's better if i know what is the receiving storage location if i, I don't know i can just select from one of these that are uh, visible in front of me by pressing that square button i will press 3056 as storage location I will press enter and now you will see that this search my data has further narrowed down to only these seven to eight reservations that are particular to this plant 3003 and this receiving storage location of 3056 and here is the movement type 311 shows that the material is issued from raw material store to that storage location and 312 is the reversal of material that has come back from this the receiving plant or receiving storage location to back to the raw material store so you can see we are just entering more arguments in our this window and we are getting our required result in front of us so you can see this is a very useful transaction mb23 to get the list of reservations in front of you one more data for example i want to select or i want to get reservation on a particular date for example is 15 11 2020 for example now i have kept 3056 and 3003 as same I will press enter and now I will see if there is some reservation on this particular date it is showing me no there is no reservation for this date and for this receiving storage location for example I and now I want to go out from one of the filter that is receiving storage location I will press enter and again this is showing that on 15th of 11 2020 there was no reservation created for this particular plant but when I have removed 3003 plant, it is showing me that other than this plant, these reservations were created for these plants on this particular date of 15th November 2020. This is the username, this is the material codes and all that. So basically what I have tried to explain it to you is that MB23 is used to display the reservations by getting the data from the system first of all if i know the reservation number i will directly put in this tab here but if i don't know the reservation number i will press this button and it will show me the different selection criteria. i will enter data as per my input what i have input in my hand i will put data here and then it will show me the, the all the required details of the reservations as per my input data so I hope that this video would have been very useful for you in your material management SCP usage where you will be dealing with the material issuances, inventory management, 
raw material consumptions and all that so this will be very helpful for you for any question you can just try it in comments tab please like and share this video for any question you can write in comments tab again please subscribe to our channel until next time it's bye bye from me